Hey, welcome to XJ Everyday. If you're like me, you have an XJ that has a low oil pressure problem. I've already gone through some of the steps, replaced the oil, replaced the filter with a Wix filter. Everybody recommends it. Um, the pressure's not coming up. Basically what happens is once the vehicle is to operating temperature, the oil pressure is low. And when you come to a stop or it's just idling, it goes completely to zero. So I've got a mechanical gauge that I've got from Harbor Freight. And I'm going to try that out here. If you've never gotten this far in your search, what you need to do is come here to your oil pressure sensor. Oh, I already replaced this once as well. This is, that'll come off. That came off really easy for me because I already popped it off. And then save yourself a lot of hassle. Get yourself an oil pressure sensor um, socket. They sell them at O'Reilly Auto Parts stores or wherever, you know, probably even get them on Rock Auto, something like that. And that goes right onto the sensor. The particular one that I have has a quarter inch socket uh, hole <laughs> on the back. And maybe I got to do that first. But having this socket made things a lot easier than trying to use a crescent wrench or something. So you just go ahead and get that off of there. And then once I get that off, I'm gonna show you how I put on the, the gauge. All right, I got this engine oil pressure test kit from Harbor Freight. And let's see, it actually opens this way. It comes with this gauge and all these little attachments to fit whatever vehicle you may have. I'm not exactly sure which one I need. It might be this one. Let me see here. Yeah, that seems like, yeah, that's gonna be it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I guess attach it to this first and then I'll put it in the car. Let me see how that works. Ended up being a different fitting than I thought it would be and getting that in there was so annoying. This part here is the the attachment fitting, whatever you want to call it. And then this goes into the fitting. My suggestion to you, put the fitting into here first, then put the hose into the fitting. And what makes it hard is getting this thing to turn. What I finally figured out was let the hose come all the way out this way. With your left hand, you got to spin this hose. Well, with your right hand, you spin this part into here. Once you get it started, it's not bad. Getting it started was a real hassle though. So now that we've got that, we're supposed to turn it on and let it get up to temperature. And then we're gonna look here and see what, what we get. So my oil pressure got down to about 10 when it was at hot idle, 10 PSI. And from everything I'm reading, it's supposed to be between like 13 or above 13 at idle and around 40 or more um, at like 1500 RPM, something like that. So. My conclusions are, I think my oil pressure is lower than it should be, but it's not as low as the gauge is showing because the gauge at this point would be showing zero um, on the dash, whereas this gauge was giving me about 10. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out.